away here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Zombies fans are really fired up, mostly due to the flamethrowers the SWAT team has used against them in the parking lot. Nothing like the smell of smoking ribs at the tailgate park. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on NFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saginaw. Why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toast oven, that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Complete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Third down in the offense. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he pumps his way out of it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! 
First down the seven. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback balls right there. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and more than the QB would like. If they don't hear it coming, oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Missed a meat for Brave Ram when the ball didn't fall out. <laughs> You never know. Oh, and they fake it. Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! so much money on him, not to mention my kneecap. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Graham, why is it that more mentally this Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second and three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. For one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy. A prince can't even get one. Well, uh, I'm talking about points. I'm a house camel on Silla. I am a hell and all fellow. Oh, 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Oh, at least it's a like bricks and fouls. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company. Lukewarm Threads! Their marketing team hates it! And it's first and ten. Welcome to McBride Rage! How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take That's a killer! It was right there and then he dropped it! Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm gonna throw a hammer at the field and even the odds. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.